OpenAI was on fire at their dev day, releasing some really incredible technology. One in particular caught my eye because it's really going to change the way that business owners, solopreneurs, and even agencies change the way they automate their work. Think along the lines of Make, N8N, Zapier, and even Google's Opal. Now, does it completely replace all those tools at the moment, particularly N8N or Make? Not currently, but I think it's only going to get a lot better from now on, and it makes me very, very excited about the future of automating tasks. And I think there is a huge advantage for those people who start learning how to use these tools today, particularly when it's so easy, it's just a click and drag template. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start building your own autonomous agent today, and more specifically, a RAG agent, a retrieval augmented generation, where you can place it, where you can give it all your company's information, and you can have a discussion about that information. And for this example, we're gonna build an autonomous agent for our AI ranking school community, for someone who's coming in new and has a specific lesson they wanna learn right away. They can chat to the agent, discuss what it is that they want to learn, for example, metadata or image SEO, and the agent will give them the exact module and link that they need to watch to learn that item. So by the end of this video, you're going to know how to access Agent Builder, how to build your own agent, and even how to change its output to not only be a boring text, but a nice little widget looking UI so you look a lot more professional. So the first thing you want to do is go to platform.openai.com and you'll see that there is a new selection here on the left hand side and that is Agent Builder. That is the one that we're going to start using and they've got a lot of templates you can start checking out, but we're going to just go to create our own. And right away, you'll see on the left-hand side, the majority of the things that you can place in there, like file search, guardrails, MCPs. And MCP obviously is the most exciting thing out of there because right off the box, you can connect the MCP servers that OpenAI has built, like your Gmails, Google Calendar, um, and even others by other developers. Now, you can connect it to Zapier, which technically means you can connect this to practically anything, but it's not quite there yet. It is, it is a little bit clunky. So what we are going to do in this first agent, we're going to give it instructions. I'm gonna name it, and then we're going to give it the right tools. And in this, in this instance, the tool is going to be access to look at some internal knowledge. The first thing you wanna do is create your internal knowledge that you wanna give it. And for this example, I've just done a very easy Excel file uh, outlining the lesson name, the link, to that lesson or to the module and about the lesson so the agent has some good understanding of that. I'm going to download this file as a HTML. It doesn't like CSVs, but that's okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go back here. And for the prompt, uh, let's actually, let's name this um, school agent, agent. And the instructions here are very simple. I'm gonna say you're a helpful assistant. I'm gonna say you're a helpful assistant for the AR ranking school learning community. You help members find the right resource to help them learn quicker. Um, you only look through your learning resources provided in your file search. We'll give you the file in a second. And you make the responses brief and give them the exact link to the resources for their appropriate learning. Pretty simple. So now for the tools, I'm gonna to do click the add button here, and I'm going to go to file search. And here I need to drop the file with all the internal knowledge, that file from the Google Sheet that I just downloaded. Perfect, so I'm gonna upload that, make sure that it's working, and I'm gonna name this uh, AI ranking modules, and I'm going to attach. So now I've attached that internal knowledge to this bot. The output format for now, is just going to be text. We're gonna change it to a widget in a second, but I actually wanna make sure if it's learning. And with that alone, I can start previewing this to see if it works. So I know there's some internal knowledge here about metadata, image SEO, and design and conversion. So let's ask our agent to see, um, I want to learn about image SEO. And it should understand the task and you can see it kind of thinking about it and hopefully it'll retrieve us and give us the right link. Perfect, so it says best place to start learning uh, image SEO is this one here. And let's see if it works and it takes me to the right lesson. It does, image SEO. So great, within a matter of a couple of seconds or minutes, uh, my agent is already working. I can give this access to the internet as well and a bunch of other things. So if I go back here, I can give it more tools like uh, web search as well. So I could say, for example, not only just give me the files, but also tell me about this aspect a little bit more, but I'm gonna leave it there. The really interesting thing that I liked about this is I can change the output and I can create a widget here. So I'm gonna add, create a widget, and I'm going to create one right away. Once you create that, it'll take you to their widget studio. You can see a lot of galleries and 
mockups and things like that. And already I know that I want a widget that will display the lesson title, the URL as a button and a description of that lesson. So let's say, see if it does that. I want you to create a widget that will display uh, the answers or that will display the lesson title, the lesson link as a button and a very short brief description of the lesson. Make it uh, predominantly blue with some orange highlights. So I've also given it the color that I want it to match as well. Now notice I'm not really telling it anything about how to connect this variable to that section of the widget. Hopefully it kind of should understand what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> okay, so it's given me uh, the widget just as I wanted it. I'm going to, whilst the design is not the best, but that's okay. I'm going to download this widget and the file type is called a dot widget. I'm gonna go back to where I'm building this agent and I'm going to upload the widget file in there. Um, perfect. And here I just gotta make sure the output is in the widget format and let's test it out. I'm going to ask now, uh, I want to learn about website site speed and let's see if it's already understood how to link and how to make that widget work essentially pulling in the right information and mapping it to the right sections of that widget. Okay, so I've got the learn website speed step by step and if I click on this button, it seems that it's not working. So let's, let's see if we can fix that at the moment. Okay, I lost it. I wanna learn about image SEO again. Okay, so after a little fumbling around and what really helped here to sort the issue was actually click this button that'll rewrite the prompt in the best way possible. So now if we say, for example, let's preview this thing. And again, let's ask it, I uh, want to learn about image SEO. Perfect, and now we see image SEO, learn how to optimize images for search, WebP conversion, compression. That is what the title is called. And if I click on this, it takes me to the right lesson plan, image SEO. Obviously you need to be part of the community to access this, but that's beside the point. So really simple, it works really well. I'll probably change the design of this. You can do a lot more things in here. Obviously you can access MCPs and maybe connect it to your email, but for the time of this recording, I wanna leave it there nice and easy. You could then, for example, upload this to any one of your websites that you're doing. Uh, you could probably place it into your application as well. Now, as this just got released, I'm gonna leave this right there and there, nice and simple. We're going to be exploring this in great detail in this channel. So if you wanna learn more about agents within OpenAI and how to build it, I'd highly recommend you subscribe and keep the notification button on. Let me know what else we should build. Let me know what interests you as well when it comes to the MCPs. If you want to learn how to connect it to your Gmail or to your calendar or any other developers as well, I'd be really interested to know what is interesting to you. Leave it in the comments below. Cheers.